Do you know the one thing that confused me most in English history was whether Henry VII had eight wives or whether Henry VIII had seven, or whether Henry Hall was responsible for the whole thing. And as this is probably something I'll, I'll never find out, I think I'll rest on my moral, laurels and leave all the Henrys to rest on, on theirs. Someone, folks, with a special kind of music all his very own. In fact, none other than your old favorite Big Bill Campbell and his Rocky Mountaineers. Howdy, folks, here's the old Hilly Billy Band bringing you a breath of the great old west. Yes, sir. From the mountains, the plains, the prairies, and the ranches. Yes, folks, we're tough, mighty tough in the West. Yes. And if you want to know just how tough we are, you just listen. Play, boys. folks. We're tough, ah. mighty tough in the West. Why we steal a baby chicken off its nest. Oh, that's not good. Now this story may sound tall, yeah. but we feathers be can all. Oh, we're tough, mighty tough in the West. Yeah. Hey, yes, we're tough, mighty tough yeah. in the West. Yeah. Good manners are a thing that we detest. Oh, tough, tough, tough. But when the toughest race is reared, yeah. every baby has a beard. <laughs> oh, we're tough. Are we tough yeah. in the West? Yeah. In the West. Yes, sir. And at poker, you can never come out best. Oh, you're tall. When you've lost all but your braces, then you deal yourself five aces. And then things start to move in the West. Bang, 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 oh, bang, you're bang. tough. Mighty tough in the West. Hey, how tough? Well, they measure 64 around the chest. Oh, what a man, what a man. Every hair upon their torso is like a steel spring. Holy horse, so got their tough. Mighty tough in the West. Now you talk about music, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We're hot, mighty hot in the way. Yeah. Our band's just a little hotter than the rest. Yeah. 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 And no one's got a thing yeah. when it comes to playing swing. Yeah. Now we're hot, mighty hot in the way. Show them, boys. And last but not least, that majestic magistrate of fun, that lovable blunderer, that dilly dallier Rob Wilton, in full sail at his famous court. You get some funny cases being a magistrate. Only yesterday a woman came in and said she wanted to sue the tramway company. I said, what for? She said, well, she said she was stooping down in the middle of the road, tying her shoelace, when a tram car came up from behind and struck her a severe blow on the 23rd of July. I said, sit down a minute. She said, don't try and be funny. She said, are you the magistrate? I said, yes. She said, well, I want you to take down some particulars. I said, what is it you do want? She, I said, do you want damages? She said, no, I've got them. I said to her, I said, are you a married woman? She said, yes. I said, well, what's your husband? She said, he's a tram driver. I said, your husband's a tram driver. Well, where was he at the time of the accident? She said, on the tram. I said, do you mean to stand there and tell me that your husband was driving the very tram that struck you? She said, yeah. I said, well, why didn't he apply his brakes? 
She said that he said when he saw it was her, he never thought of applying his brakes. I said, oh, well, I said, we can't go on like that. I said, now, there's one very important point that we must be particular about, and that's about the date. I said, now, are you sure it was the 23rd? She said, absolutely certain. I said, now, wait a minute, what makes you so certain? She said, well, the number on the tram, on the front of the tram, the part that struck her, was also 23, and it's imprinted on her memory. Uh, so I didn't bother with it. I mean, it was oh, one of those well, things... Oh, let's lay off, lay off. I'm this guy myself. Hey, what is all this? I've gone and lost my spectacles now. I can't find them. I can't look for them till I find them. I don't know what... Oh, here we are in my pocket all the time. Uh, what, uh, what are you charged with, miss? Not being properly attired. Look all right from here. Uh, where do you belong to? Say, I come from Palm Beach, USA, where everybody sunbathes and nobody interferes. I'm over here on a vacation. If I want to do a little sunbathing once in a while, so what? So what? So what? How do you mean, so what? I, I, I'm afraid I, I don't know how I stand about it. I've never had a packet of this before. I, I, I don't know about sunbathing, but there, there is definitely a law against um, uh, not being properly attired. What does that mean? Well, it means... Um, not having enough clothes on. Not having enough clothes on? Gee, if I wore as much as this in Palm Beach, they'd think I was going to the North Pole. Where is this Palm Beach? Say, I'll tell you. Palm Beach is the cutest little place in all the world. You can really go to town there. Ah, yeah, but you know, Miss, uh, you're not in Palm Beach now, you know. You're telling me. Yeah. Eh? You're telling me. Yes, that's right. Who do you think I'm telling? Uh, tell me, uh, uh, did you uh, did you come through the streets like this? No. I thought not. No, I came on a tram. On a tr on a tram. You're not going back on a tram. Uh, get me a taxi. A taxi? Oh, you cutie, you sweetie pie! Well, You're going to take what me home on a taxi? Oh, I had too much. Who said I was going to take you home in a taxi? You just said it. I said nothing of the kind. I said I was going to send you home in a taxi, and I'm going to send the clerk of the court and the policeman to look after you. Policeman and the clerk of the court? Yes. Yeah. What's the policeman for? To look after the clerk of the court. Say, what is all this? What do you mean? I'm going home and no What's this? No clerk of the court either. I'm going home and no police. What's this? 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 What's